Hello everyone, Dynamo here. Welcome to another toy review. And today's character, her name is Fury from the game Darksiders 3. Okay, the little details. She is manufactured from Guy Entertainment, an English company that specializes in licensed video games. They do statues, toys, posters, and apparel. Unfortunately, they're not licensed with Darksiders anymore, so you have to look elsewhere if you plan to shop there. I bought this little figurine at Amazon, which I'm pretty lucky, and apparently they're backlogged as well, so there might be more coming through. The retail price of these is at $50. Alright, now let's get on with the review. And I gotta say, I am highly impressed by the details of her armor, 100% exactly like the game. So the most common mistake that people look at Fury is that she's wearing spandex, which in reality she's not. As you can see here, these white little spectacles. It's supposed to give off that rustic metal appearance. So just like in the game, she's just wearing armor, but it's really skin tight. With some leather, of course. Now let's take a look at her leg protectors. I love the intricate details here. The demonic face located on her legs. Just letting y'all know, each of her brothers, they all have this. Some were located on their shoulder, their knees, their elbow. So I think this is a really nice touch to her character. Now let's do a close-up shot of her left hand. Her gauntlet, again, another one, a demonic face, this time a skull, another little extra detail, beautifully done. Here, we're looking at Fury's pauldrons and arm guard. I like the extra layer of plates stacked onto one another, which in my opinion, looks like a very difficult design. So I think they did a good job on this part. We have the chest plate or breast plate, or whatever you want to call it. The sex appeal is very minimal. So that's what they're focusing on is just action and strength. The closest thing they did here is the booby plates, which is basically a high fantasy kind of thing. Okay, this part I gotta admit. This lady got some deadly looking heels, and they look like they can inflict a lot of pain. Let's check out the platform she's standing on. It's molten rock, pretty standard. It's pretty huge and heavy too. Let's take a gander at her face. Pretty standard, again, just like the game. Her skin complexion, I'm not sure if this is accurate, but look like she got freckles. I guess it's supposed to be depicted from the comics. Okay, now her hair, it's beautifully done. It's supposed to look like fire. Warning though, don't touch the spikes. Uh, I touched it and I started to bleed, so be careful with that. Okay, on to the negatives. Just two of them. The first one is her whip. As you can see, it's broken off. I have to super glue it back together, which I'm pretty upset about. So if you plan to order this, I've been reading the reviews that it's quite common that when it's delivered, her whips gets broken off so easily, but it's easy fix, but still it's a little upsetting that it happens pretty often. And another thing is the platform. It's huge and it makes about one third of the whole statue, which I'm kind of surprised because when I got it delivered, the box was huge. The platform makes about the majority of the figure. So really upset about that. Oh, one more thing. If you like try to find a way to put her whip in, See this bottom right here, the pommel, the pommel of her weapon, you want to unscrew that part. So that way you can easily slide in her whip blade. It took me minutes to figure that out. So overall though, pretty okay. There are a lot of great details. The colors are great. Pricing is pretty decent in my opinion. Cause again, like I said, I wasn't happy with the size of it. Her platform mixed with the majority of the figurine and plus the broken whip part. Other than that, I would say get it, but look elsewhere if you want to find something a little cheaper. Thank you all for watching. Dynamite out.